I was 11, I was very skinny, very fast, very goofy. And I like that uh, I, was, I was training in front of a mirror, making faces and everything. <laughs> in fact, at that time, I, I wanted to do comedy. I was very impressed by uh, the uh, Jean-Paul Belmondo, Jerry Lewis type of characters. I knew by coming here, I, I saw myself becoming an actor against uh, the impossible, but I was so convinced I'm gonna make it. I made it. I've done nowhere to run like, what, uh, maybe six, seven, eight, nine years ago. It was a good film because I felt the kid and the family and, and, and I felt responsible in the movie for them. We didn't say goodnight to Sam. I'll say goodnight and let's go to bed. It has a good feel and I, I, I love children. If I see you near her or the children, I'll kill you. It's going to be a, a different type of film for me. We'll have some action, so we'll be in good shape. Action! When you do a love scene in a movie, you only have few people, the director, the DP, the sound guy, and the boom guy, and, and you just have to relax, and, and the first two, three hours, you feel like, shy but then uh, it's just flesh against flesh and you have to feel the character and and, uh, and she's beautiful so I enjoy it uh -huh. Uh, I'm a lucky guy the reason to uh, be nervous I'm not nervous Good. Maximum Risk was one of my best movie acting-wise. I was really into it. You survived. Made a home for me. You did what you had to do. I don't blame you. The cast was great. Plus, Natasha Hansrich was great. What a beautiful woman. On the outside and the inside. I'll see you as soon as I get off, all right? Don't even think about going to sleep. We got a lot of catching up to do. Look at her face. Look, she enjoys. <laughs> the picture has, has, has everything. Has the story, has the romance, has the action. <laughs> what made the fight in the elevator so real? No karate, small space, was vicious, strong, like a street fight. I love the fight. I, I think Ring Golam is one of uh, the best director in Hong Kong. He's very much like uh, the uh, Scorsese of Asia. I mean, I've done three movies now with uh, Chinese directors. I brought John Woo. John Woo is more commercial in the sense of a uh, big Hollywood picture. And Choi is more like the uh, George Lucas of Asia. You know what I'm saying? More fantasy. Choi likes to go on every movie, he likes to change his directing point of view, which is difficult. It's a challenge against yourself.
first of all, the script of Double Team. The name was Colony. Agent Quinn achieved clean opportunity to acquire Alpha, but Target Alpha escaped. You went soft, but because of your skills, you've been assigned to the colony. No! Great script. <laughs> then uh, it did change and change and change. What's up? What's up? What's up? It was a very good movie. But the script changed a lot. It became different. It became more cartoonish. Who does your hair? Siegfried or Roy? The last guy made fun of my hair. He's still trying to put his hair out of his ass. It will be a very unusual movie with lots of colors and flavors and the camera move. Very unusual. Like MTV. Disturbing, but good. The style from uh, Double Team was different than, than the style in Knockoff. Eddie! Hey, Chrome Dome. Just back from Tokyo, huh? You son of a bitch. Look one step ahead of an angry husband. Ha! Uh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I was happy with the pace of the comedy. But I like the fact to go to Hong Kong because I, I was in Hong Kong since I was 19 and, and I love the city of Hong Kong. It's such a great place to be with everything. The ocean, the water, the people, the, uh, the fast pace. So it, it was part of the movie, that pace, plus uh, the buddy-buddy picture, you know, the buddy-buddy story. Me and uh, Rob Schneider. This is obviously between you two, so if you can aim at him. What? And we have a scene when the cargo is in the ocean. So, and he's getting hit by another boat. So all the container into the cargo ship are moving. So it's like, uh, it's action between those big container moving left and right, and I've got to fight between it with the rain and the water. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Next. It's about a guy <coughs> who's going to, uh, who has enough of life. It's not the end of the world. What are you going to do? Kill yourself? That's what I'm here for, Johnny. It's about life, sex, food, and belief. Johnny was right. About what? It's a goodbye. <laughs> It's a fable. It's, it's, um, yeah. You know the Hogans? Oh, you're gonna kill them too? My advice is go ahead and kill them. Yeah, wipe out the whole poisonous nest. All of them? Absolutely. <laughs> Universal Soldier has lots of action, physical action, and I was in great shape. I train a lot. I was training on the set to be very fast and very light in my move, lots of kicking. It's a good flick, good cast, good team of uh, people, and especially I enjoy uh, Bill Goldberg, he's a funny giant. His first movie. We have good athletes, we have real. I mean, actors, but fighters, they can do their own stunts. <laughs> Seth is like, terrific, scary. We will act without emotion. Uh, we have a lots of explosion. <laughs> and 
and when it starts to go, then it's non-stop. It's like a roller coaster. Bring me Luke Devereaux. <laughs> I lost about four to five years of my life of, I lost a lots of energy by being with some of the wrong people. Not, they're not bad or good, they were wrong for me. And now I have found myself back to become uh, again a, uh, a family man and, and I'm training every day and and I love the business again, and I've got passion for movies. I'm glad of every moment of my life. So I want to create in film now, not just to make a film, because the script is good and the money is good. So I've done that for like 16, 15 times. But to do a film now about creating something and, and, and to try to deliver a message, wow, that's an accomplishment. Because if you don't create in life, <laughs> What's the reason to leave? Strike three, you're out.